there's one thing I learned as a kid, it's that just when you think you've got all the answers to life figured out, up pops another question. This week, the Alamo PTA will meet to consider adopting a school uniform policy. This is a disaster. Do you know how much money I've invested in clothes? No more cute tops, designer jeans, or trendy boots. How are we going to tell who the cute girls are? I can't express my individuality wearing plaid skirts and knee highs. Uniforms aren't so bad. Astronauts have to wear them. Well, if you haven't noticed, we're not astronauts. Carlos, what are we going to do? There's nothing we can do. It's the PTA. It's bigger than all of us. <laughs> Except Tiny. Nothing is bigger than Tiny. <laughs> He's probably going to have to buy his uniforms that big and wide. I hear that when they go camping, they use one of his shirts as the tent. <laughs> Come on, guys. You know that's funny. <laughs> He's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> Sounds like you want a piece of me, Georgie. Porgy. <laughs> me? Never. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Hey, watch it, Tiny. That's my brother you just shoved. And? And if you do it again, you're gonna have to deal with my big brother, Carlos. You got something to say, big brother? Uh, yeah. George is my brother, and, um... I know every once in a while he needs a good shove. So does my sister. You know, your nose would look real good in another zip code. Watch your back, because I'm coming for you. Why did you guys tell me Tony was right behind me? Didn't you feel the ground shaking? What are you going to do? Look into homeschooling. I heard somewhere that life unfolds like a book. Well, something told me that this was not going to be a good chapter in the book of Garcia. Every family has one relative that is considered whacked out of their minds by the adults and yet loved by the kids. In the Garcia family, that person was... Hello? Yeah. Tia Gabby, my dad's sister. She was outgoing and had a million interesting stories. Dad, on the other hand, was kind of quiet and had only three and a half stories that he repeated over and over. Hey, here you go, double espresso. I can't win. I was starting to feel a little sluggish. Oh, if that's your sluggish, I'd hate to see your perky. <laughs> so how long are you here for? Oh, as long as you'll have me and money, so. Stay forever, Tia Gabby. You can live in my room. No, stay in ours. We've got bunk beds. Oh, only if I can sleep on the top bunk. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay, who wants some? Ah! <laughs> we learned from Tia Gabby that just because you were an adult didn't mean you had to act like one. Bueno, mija, cuéntame. Tell me about your acting. I heard that you had a fabulous Hollywood debut on Amor y Lechuga. Yeah, but I've moved on. The acting is better on Amor y Escargo. I think that you're ready for your close-up. My friend, Rita Moreno, gave me this sweater. All right. Uh, who's that? Rita's one of the few actresses to have won a Grammy, an Emmy, a Tony, and an Oscar, mija. You know, when she was about your age, she stopped talking for a year. She wanted to observe the world. Really? I want to observe the world, too, but from outer space. And I have just the thing for you. This is a piece of the Russian Mir space station. It hit my friend, the cosmonaut Vladimir, on the head when he was taking his little space walk. Oh, those Russian cosmonauts are tough. Sometimes I wonder if I have the right stuff. 
Pues claro que sí, and you're going to have a lot more of that stuff when I let you in on Vladimir's training secrets. Cool ski. Tia Gabby, you know a lot of people. Do you know any kung fu fighters? Of course I do. Why? Well, there's this bully at school, and word has it he doesn't like my nose being straight. Hmm. Tú sabes qué, Jorito. You need an amulet. You really think giving them jewelry will work? No. The jewelry is for you. You rub that African amulet, and it will protect you. Well, he won't be able to wear it after the new school uniform policy kicks in. We're all gonna look like droids. Well, if you don't like it, why don't you protest? Your father wore this hat at all of his student protests. My dad was a protester? Well, he was more than just a protester. He was el jefe. He was the ringleader. Excuse me. What are you guys doing still up? It is way past your bedtimes, and tomorrow is a school day. I bet long, but it was, you know how time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> bueno, maybe not. Martini? Love you, amor. Every family has an eccentric relative. Latoya Jackson, Roger Clinton, Uncle Fester. Yes, but we're the Garcia family, Ray, not the Adams family. Oh, she doesn't visit that often, and the kids love her. Oh, I do, too. But she is filling the kids' heads with crazy stories. There was nothing cool about Vladimir's tricks for enduring sub-zero temperatures. You can do it. You can do it. I remember thinking Vladimir was an ice cube short of a full tray. Well, the kids know not to take her stories seriously. Oh. That was the longest 15 minutes in history. One second longer, and I was going down like the Titanic. Gabby, you look so festive. Well, I like to wake up in the morning, grab the day by the throat, shake it up, and say I'm still here. <laughs> Certainly are. What smells so good? Oh, it's my chaka cha cha cha. <laughs> oh, I haven't had a breakfast like this since your last visit. Oh, I'll pass them on. Oh. <laughs> Ray, stop exaggerating. <laughs> my chaka cha cha cha. I haven't had a breakfast like this since your last visit. Pile some on. Ay, Lorenita. Pero que dramática. I love it. So who died? What, no comeback? Anything wrong, Mia? Yeah, Gabby told her giving up talking would make her a better actress. Way to go. You should have done that sooner. <laughs> like at birth. I did Gabby. I started the training you did told me about. They don't take her story seriously, huh? Good. And now I'm going to make you Vladimir's special power drink. Chug this. Mijo, you don't have to chug anything. Good, huh? Oh, okay, okay. Now, look, everybody, it's, it's time to go to school, okay? So hurry up. Gordito, what do we do next? Don't worry, we've got it covered. Oh, what do we do next? This training stuff is getting old. Yeah, right. Next, 
We are going to stay just sit in. Are you with me? Yes! What's the sit in? Well, my tea, Gabby said. It's when we sit around and so our demands are met. Wow, you're such a rebel, Carlos. Sit, sit, brother. No, no, small Tia Gabby told Carlos that nothing was more powerful than bilingual protesting. Let me tell you, Carlos would have protested in pig Latin if it meant staying out of school uniform. Solidarity was alive and well with the Garcia Three plus Lorena. Hey, where are you guys going? You're supposed to sit here in myth class? That's the protest part. I'm sorry, Carlos, but I don't want to get in trouble. But it's okay if you do. Okay. Uh, Carlos? Not you, too. As a future astronaut, I gotta keep my school records squeaky clean. Sorry. Viva la revolucion! You guys can go, too, if you want to. But I'm going to be here till the bitter end. Hey, where are you guys going? I was just kidding. Hey, come back! Nice going, Slick. Don't worry, Gordito. I'll go get him. Hey, hey, you're going the wrong way! Thank you, Mr. Clarence, for that scintillating essay on the life and times of the French fry. All right, then. Miss Garcia, you are next. Oh, this was going to be good. Could Lorena mime her whole essay? Hmm. Miss Garcia, did you hear me? And you're not coming up? Well, I... I'm sorry, too. <sighs> Meanwhile, I was having my own problem staying on Tia Gabby's power drink schedule. All right, then. Mr. Garcia, you are next. Mr. Garcia, are you drinking something in my classroom? No, Mrs. Barbacoa. Well, then, I guess F's just running your family. But why? Got slime? Uh, I don't know how to tell you this, George, but here comes Tiny. So... I don't care. What? I'm not scared of him anymore. Hey, Tiny, it's me, George Garcia. You still want a piece of me? George, are you crazy? Don't worry. He can't hurt me. I have my... <gasps> hey, my dear Gabby, give me that. It seemed like every time we Garcias reached out for our destinies, we were blindsided by ordinary people who didn't even get our vision. What on earth is that? Coach, please! Break it up! Break it up right! Break it up! Get up! Break it up! Poke it, you poke it! Well, well, I do believe it's Principal Fender's office for the Brothers Garcia. Let's march! And it looked like George's vision was going to be blurred for a while. Tia Gabby taught us to dare to go places we'd never been, and we took it one step further. We took Mom and Dad to a place they'd never been, the principal's office. Come on in. All four of you? Mr. and Mrs. Garcia, you're here. I'm afraid so. Well, thank you for coming so promptly. What happened? I was going to ask you that same question myself, Professor. Excuse me? Well, when four children from one family end up in my office, I see that for what it is, a cry for help. I see it as a cry for punishment. Has there been any radical changes at home you'd like to tell me about? Like what? Changes in sleeping pattern, emotional problems, uh, marital issues. How about an eccentric aunt? Ooh, is Tia Gabi back? With a vengeance. Oh. 
What were you kids thinking? I can't believe these are my children. George has a black eye. Carlos is rabble-rousing. Larry is drinking cod liver oil in class. And Lorena is not speaking. We look like a crazy family. Or a very interesting one. Sorry. Lorena, what do you have to say for yourself? George, when did you become the Oscar de la Hoya of Alamo Middle School? Uh, when Tia Gabby gave me this amulet. She said it would protect me. Well, that worked. And you. Mr. Fender actually asked us if we are feeding you enough. You are. But Tia Gabby says I'll never get buffed on a carbo load. Well, Dad, you can't possibly get mad at me. Because I was only following in your footsteps in a fight for a better world. I was inspired by the story Tia Gabby told All me right, about. All right, that's it. I've heard enough. Gabby, can we talk? You've been here for a day and a half, and the kids have gone haywire. They have never been in this kind of trouble before. Well, Though not all at the same time. You see, you have to realize that you have a strong influence on them. They hang on your every word. Well, of course they do. They're smart kids. Smart kids do not get sent to detention. Well, I'm sorry that I'm a fascinating woman with fabulous anecdotes, but I'm not sorry that they got sent to detention for thinking outside the box. I say, chuck it up to life's experience. Well, being hauled into the principal's office and getting accused of bad parenting is a life experience that I could have done without. Bueno, I know when I'm not wanted. I shall be gone by tomorrow. give you that shiner? Pretty cool, huh? How do you keep the swelling down on yours? I got some tips from suckerpunch.web. You under the net? Me too. Really? Yeah. Just between you and me. My real name's George, too. Well, you know, in Mexico, when two men give each other black eyes, they're called black eye brothers. And when two men have the same name, they're called Tagayos. Tagayos? Tagayos. Hey, George. Yeah, George? I'm sorry about making jokes about your size. It was wrong. Mm, it's okay. It happens. Well, it'll never happen for me again. <laughs> Did I tell you I'm glad we're friends? <laughs> Although talking made my head feel like a lead balloon, Mrs. Barbacoa gave Lorena and I another chance to do our reports. And then at 72 years old, John Glenn became the... <laughs> Vladimir's training schedule was too much for me. That's when I decided I was going to make it as an astronaut the American way. Nice and easy. Ew! No need to finish, Mr. Garcia. A+. Plus. Now get yourself to the nurse's office immediately. Vladimir's training paid off in ways I never even expected. Good and bad. I mean, I got an A and I got to go home early. Miss Garcia, I believe you are next. My report is called What I Learned from Not Speaking. The first thing I learned is that talking is easy, listening is hard. The second thing I learned is that Joey is two-timing Sarah Jane Mack. And I also overheard that Desiree is dumping Ralphie G for Ralphie S. And I heard Ms. in Garcia. the teacher's lounge... Miss Garcia, I believe this is a tad inappropriate. Why don't I just read this by myself, hmm? Oh, my goodness. Carlos's punishment was to return to the scene of his crime and clean it up. Uh, sorry, Mr. Fender. Well, Mr. Garcia... I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. 
The bad news is, after hearing of your impassioned protest, the Alamo PTA voted against school uniforms. So sitting down and skipping class worked? Don't get any ideas or I'll move you to parking lot detail. Uh, sorry, Mr. Fender. Well, what's the good news? I've got some new tunes. Carry on, Mr. Garcia. <laughs> and you missed a spot. Ah. Gabby, please don't go like this. Can we talk? Oh, sure, yes. Today you kicked me to the curb like a stray cat, and today you want to talk. Okay, shoot. I would love to be as carefree as you. It would be the easiest thing in the world for me to say yes to the kids. Yes, you can stay up. Yes, you can eat candy and skip school. It would make me very popular, but not a very good mom. Gabby, you're leaving? Well, I think I've caused enough trouble for one visit. No way! Mom, Dad, it's not her fault. Tia Gabby's a great influence. I thank you, mijitos, for all of your kind words. But now I want to say thank you to your parents because they taught me a very important lesson. We did? Oh, see. Si. You know, it's easy for me to be your crazy Tia Gabby, but you know what? I really respect your parents. They're here 24-7 with their love, their discipline, their guidance. And that's what's made you the, the, the wonderful people that you are. And Sonia, Ray, I truly apologize for my interference. Sure we can't talk you into staying a little longer? And miss my morning tea off with Tiger Woods? No way! <laughs> You'll be greatly missed. <laughs> Well, someday, some way, when you least expect it, I'll be back. Ah! Tia Gabby taught us to look at the world differently, and thanks to her, we learned to grab the new day by the throat, shake it up, and say, I'm still here. Save the earth! Save the earth! Hey, you. Save the earth! Hey, pick that up! Save the earth! Hey. Is that you, Dad? I didn't think you were ever that young. What's up with the sideburns? And the costume. Oh, those aren't costumes. <laughs> That's how the protesters used to dress in those days. What were you protesting? We're gonna take a stand! Not tomorrow, now! We're gonna stop polluting! We're gonna clean the world for our children! They're our future! Don't pollute! But, Dad, we weren't even born yet. No, but I knew you were coming. Now I remember why I married you. I'm glad you're my poppy. Good looking out, Dad. Familia was a cool thing. It formed a chain that connected the past, present, and future. Our parents' experiences made them who they were, and they in turn made us who we were. And that connected all of us to each other. Todo para la familia, everything for the family. <laughs>